Mr. Speaker, Dreyer, uh, week before last, just before we adjourned, we got the sad news of the passing of our good friend and former colleague, Congressman Steve Horn. Steve Horn was, uh, without a doubt, one of the most intelligent and accomplished members to ever serve in this body. And at the same time, Mr. Speaker, he was one of the kindest and most decent members. He got his bachelor's degree from Stanford University, his master's from Harvard, and went back and got his PhD at Stanford University. He served in strategic intelligence uh, in the early 1950s in the U.S. Army Reserve. And then he got involved in public service in a, a big way. <clears throat> he served in the Eisenhower administration, and he went on to become a legislative assistant to uh, California Senator Tom Keekle. From that point forward, he uh, had dedicated himself to public service, and he expanded that greatly. He got into education, and for nearly two decades, from 1970 to 1988, he served as president of the California State University at Long Beach, and during that period of time, he was named one of the 100 most effective college presidents in the country. Mr. Speaker, then uh, he joined us here as a member of Congress serving for five terms. And <clears throat> he was an individual who spent a great deal of time and effort focusing on issues. In fact, one of the great stories about Steve Horn that I heard from uh, his former staff member, who I'm happy to say uh, when he left, came to work for me, uh, Elisa Doe, who is his legislative assistant, now my legislative director. She told me of how they would often be looking for Congressman Horn. There were votes taking place here in the House, and he was over in the Library of Congress, didn't have a pager with him. We didn't have Blackberries at the time. He didn't have a pager with him, and yet he was over there in the library studying, trying to get more and more uh, information and uh, develop his knowledge. He uh, also was someone who uh, never hesitated to go against the grain. He served on the Government Operations Committee. Government reform was a priority for him, and transportation. He represented the Long Beach area, <clears throat> and um, he understood that 40 percent of the goods going to and from the consumers and workers of the United States go through the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles, and he was always dedicated to ensuring that that was a, a very high priority. And he had this great focus on reforming and improving the operations of the federal government. Mr. Speaker, he was an institutionalist. He loved this body, understanding that the deliberative nature of uh, service here and of our work is very important and can't be forgotten. Steve leaves uh, his uh, wonderful wife, Nene. They were married for 57 years, two children, one grandchild. And I've got to say that uh, I uh, miss his advice, counsel, and friendship, and camaraderie. And I'd like to, uh, in the spirit of bipartisanship, uh, yield to my friend from Manhattan, Ms. Maloney, who joins me, served with him on the uh, Government Reform Committee. I thank the, the gentleman, and I, I rise in tribute to Representative Steve Horn. He was a thoughtful, dedicated, honorable man who built his record on bipartisan cooperation and commitment to good government. He was a legislator's legislator. He was deeply committed to doing the right thing, writing the right bill, getting it passed. And uh, he was also a very good friend of mine. He came with his wife, Nini, and visited me at my home in New York. I went to visit him in his district, a district that he loved and was totally dedicated, dedicated to. Uh, during his 10 years of service here in the House of Representatives, we worked together on the Oversight and Government Reform Committee. He chaired the Subcommittee on Government Management, Information and Technology uh, for six years, and I was the ranking member with him. So uh, not only was he uh, dedicated to running government better, saving taxpayers money, but uh, also uh, legislated and passed many important bills. Uh, he helped me pass a bill that I authored, the Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act, which we worked on together for, for roughly seven years. It took us that long to pass it, and it has, a book has been written about that process and the bill and what it has done to help in problem solving now as we confront uh, delicate issues going forward. 
The first hearing on the Debbie Smith uh, bill, which has been called the most important anti-rape bill in the history of our country, uh, was um, in his committee, uh, where Debbie Smith testified about her rape, the fact that no one was reacting to it. And uh, this, this whole effort, including that hearing that he chaired, uh, was made into a movie called A Life Interrupted and how DNA has been used to put rapists behind bars. Uh, he was a, a, a dedicated, wonderful person. He also chaired the Arts Caucus and worked for, uh, hard for its uh, uh, funding. Uh, and in a time when we talk about bar bipartisanship, uh, Steve Horn was the real deal, a bi bipartisan problem solver. He wanted to get the, the problem solved. He wanted to help this country, help his community. He was devoted to his wife and two children and grandchild. I yield back to my distinguished colleague. He was, a, he was just a great guy. I thank my <laughs> friend for a very thoughtful contribution. Mr. Speaker, I just want to say that our thoughts and prayers are with Nene and their wonderful family. And with that, I yield back to balance my time.